go hi everyone i am from the team fisherman and his wife so let's start narrator once upon a time in a hut by the sea there lived one fisherman and his wife the fisherman used to go down every day to fish and he would fish fish and fish one day he pulled out a big fish out of the water the fish told him fish listen fisherman please let me go i am not a real fish i am just an enchanted prince what good will it do if you get rid of me i will certainly not taste nice put me back into the water and let me swim away man well i don't like a fish that talks swim away with these words he put the he, the he put the fish back into the shining water and the fish sank to the bottom well then the fisherman got up and went home to his wife in the hut wife husband did you catch a fish man i caught a fish who said he was a enchanted prince so i let him swim away wife did you ask the fish for anything man no what should i ask for wife this hut is so small and dirty go now and call him tell him that we choose to have a cottage and he will certainly give it to you man why should i go down there again wife why you caught him and then let him go again so he is sure to give you what you asked to go down quickly the man did not want to go but he did when he came there the sea was quite green and yellow and was no longer shining so he stood by the shore and said man once a prince but changed into a fish in the sea come for my wife wants me to ask you for a wish narrator then the fish came swimming up and said fish well what does she want man my wife wants something from you she does not want to live any longer in the hut she wants to live in a pretty cottage fish go home then you will find your wife in the cottage narrator so the man went home and there was his wife no longer in the hut but in its place was a beautiful cottage and his wife was sitting on the front door on a bench she took him by the hand and said to him come inside and see if this is not much better narrator they went in and inside the cottage was a tiny hall and a beautiful living room and a bedroom a kitchen a dining room all furnished with the best of everything outside was a little yard in which there were chickens and ducks and also a little garden with vegetable and fruit trees why see isn't this nice man yes so we will stay and live very happily why we will see narrator with these words they had their supper and all went to bed all went well for a week or so and then the wife said why listen husband the cottage is too small and so is the yard and the garden now i want to live in the great castle go right now and tell the fish to send us a great castle man our wife the cottage is good enough why should you want to live in a castle why why you go down to the sea right now the fish will do it man no why the fish gave us a cottage i don't like to go to him again you know why go he will certainly give it to us go now narrator the man did not want to go but he did when he came to the sea the water was all boiled and dark blue and dull and thick and no longer the bright green and yellow but it was still smooth so he stood there and said man once a prince but changed into a fish in the sea come for my wife wants me to ask you for a wish fish well what does she want now man ah <coughs> She wants to live in a great castle. Fish, go home then. She is in the castle already. Narrator, the fish, the fisherman went home and thought he would find no house. But when he came near, there stood a great palace. His his wife was standing on the steps, about to enter. She took him by the hand and said, "Come inside." Narrator, inside the castle was a large hall with a marble floor, and there were many many servants. The walls were covered with the beautifully with the with the beautiful of tapestry, and there were fine chairs and tables, crystal chandeliers, and all rooms were beautifully carpeted. The best of food and drink also was set before them, when they wished to eat anything. 
outside the house there were horse and cow stables a splendid garden with the most beautiful flowers and fruit and in the park there were quite deer roe and hares and everything one could wish for why now isn't this beautiful man yes it is now here we will stay and live in this beautiful castle and we will be very happy why we will see narrator the next morning white woke first at daybreak and looked out of the bed and saw a beautiful country her husband was still sleeping so she woke him up why husband get up and look out of the window we could be king of all this land go down to the fish and tell him we choose to be king man our wife why should be king i don't want to be king why well if you don't want to be king i want to be king go down to the fish i want to be king right now man why do you want to be king i can't ask him that why why not go down at once i must be king narrator the fisherman did not want to go but he did when he came to the sea the water the water was all dark gray color he stood by the sea and said man wants a prince but changed into a fish in the sea come for my wife wants me to ask you for another wish fish well what does she want now again man she wants to be the king fish go home then she is that already narrator the fisherman went home and when he came near the palace he saw that it had become much larger and that it had great towers a sentinel was standing before the gate and there were soldiers with drums and trumpets and when he went into the palace he found that everything was of pure marble and gold then the doors of the hall opened and there stood the whole court from his wife who was sitting on a high throne of golden knights she wore a great golden crown then he went to her and said our oh, wife are you king now wife yes now i am king man it's enough wife now that you are king we have nothing more to wish for why no husband go down to the fish now i must be emperor man why do you want to be emperor why wait go down to the fish i will be emperor man why he cannot make you emperor i don't like to ask him that there is only one emperor in the whole kingdom he just can't make you an emperor but what i am king am i will you go down at once if he can make me king he can make me emperor too and emperor and i must and will be go now the later so he had to go anyways but as he went he really felt quite frightened and he thought to himself this can't be right to be emperor it's too ambitious when he came to the sea it was quite black and thick and it was breaking high on the beach and the wind was blowing everything looked pretty bleak the fisherman was chill with fear he stood and said once a prince but changed into a fish in the sea come again for my wife wants me to ask you for a wish fish what does she want now man my my wife wants to be an emperor go home then she is that already so narrator so the fisherman went home and when he came there he saw a whole castle was made of polished marble inside the palace were walking barons counts and dukes acting as servants they opened the door which was of beaten gold and when he entered he saw his wife in a throne of gold she had on a great golden crown with diamonds and sparkling gems the man said why are you emperor now why yes i am emperor man why that's enough now that you are emperor you have no more to ask for why husband why are you standing there i am emperor now and i want to be pope too go down to the fish man what more do you want you can't be pope there is only one pope in and he can not make you that why i will be pope go down quickly i must be pope today man i can't ask him that it's not right it's too much the fish can not make you a pope why if he can make emperor he can make pope too go down this instant i am emperor and you are my husband go now narrator so he went 
but he was trembling and shaking. The wind was blowing fiercely across the land, and the clouds flying across the sky looked as gloomy as if for night. The leaves were being blown from the trees. Still, the sky was very blue in the middle, although at sight it was dark, angry red, as in a great storm. So he said, Once a prince, but change into a fish in the sea, come, for my wife wants me to ask you for a wish again. Fish, well, what does she want now? Man, she wants to be pope. Fish, fine, go home then, she is that already. Narrator, then he went home, and when he came there, he saw a large church surrounded by palaces. He pushed his way through the people. The interior was lit up with thousands and thousands of candles, and his wife was dressed in cloth of gold and was sitting on a much higher throne, and she wore three great golden crowns. Round her were numbers of church dignitaries. All the emperors and kings were on their knees before her, foot for foot. Wife, are you em are you pope now? Wife, yes, I am pope, man. Uh, it's enough now that you are Pope. Be happy now that you are Pope. You cannot become anything more. Why? We will think about that, narrator. With these words, they went to bed. But the woman was not content. Her greed would not allow her to sleep. And she kept thinking and thinking what more she could still become. She turned from one side to the other the whole night, thinking about what more she could become. Then the sun began to rise, and when she saw, the red dawn, she went to the end of the bed and looked at it carefully. And as she was watching the sun rise out of the window, she thought, Can I make the sun and man rise? Hey, wake up, go down to the fish, I will be a god. Man, what, what did you say, wife? Husband, if I cannot make the sun and man rise when I appear, I will never ever rest. I will never have a quiet moment until I make the sun and man rise. Go down at once. I will be God. Husband. Wife. The fish cannot do that. He could make you emperor and a pope. I implore you. Be happy and remain as a pope. Wife. I am not happy and I will not be contented. Will you go? Narrator. So he went. But the storm was dragging so fiercely that he could scarcely stand. Houses and trees were being blown down. The mountains were being shaken and pieces of rock were rolling in the sea. The sky was as black as ink. It was thundering and lightning. The sea was tossing in great waves as high as church towers and mountains. Man, shouting, Once a prince, but changed into a fish in the sea. Come for my wife, wants me to ask you for another wish. Fish, well, what does she want now again? Man, she wants to be God. Fish, really? Go home then. She is sitting again in the hut. Narrator. And there they are sitting to this day. The end. Moral, greediness and thirst for more can never be quenched and will ultimately lead to nothing. Okay.